The idea behind adaptive kayaking is where we adapt the equipment, the environment, or the teaching method to accommodate someone who has a disability. Ultimately, it comes down to quality of life. We want to be able to improve the quality of life for people with a physical or developmental disability. We work with kids with autism, Down syndrome, muscular dystrophy, cerebral palsy, kids with cancer. We work with adults with various physical and developmental disabilities. Our programs have grown to include uh, people who have experienced a stroke, a spinal cord injury. We also work with quite a bit with the, the Wounded Warrior Project and the VA hospital working with disabled veterans who have had physical in injuries or uh, PTSD, anxiety, depression, things like that. But as, as a kayaker myself, when I look at the, the number of people that I teach and the people who stick with it, there's a few themes that come out. Um, first of all, we sign up to take a kayak class and at the end of a class or series of classes, we've met some other really neat people. We've got to learn new things about New Mexico. Um, at the end of a challenging day, of, you know, first day on whitewater, things like that, we've learned some things about ourselves. Uh, we've experienced other people. Uh, we, we've witnessed other people learn things about themselves. And so in a way, it, it does really does draw us together. And if we get so much out of this as, as a hobby, as a, a lifestyle, or even as an identity, um, couldn't someone with a disability get the same thing out of it? And of course, the answer is yes. Um, when we take someone out of a wheelchair and put them in a kayak, they've, they're building courage and confidence. They're meeting other like-minded people. They're, they're being included in a community that accepts them and adopts them and takes them places. Um, they're getting to travel, you know, wherever they get to travel. It's, it, it's often it's out of their routine, and they're doing the same things that Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts would be doing. Um, I've heard uh, from a number of people throughout the country that we're kind of leading the way with uh, adaptive kayaking for people with developmental disabilities, and that really that comes from the support from the Center for Development and Disability, the Kerry Kingman Hospital Foundation, um, and, and these partners who know far more about uh, these disabilities than we do, but we're obviously we're working together, and I think that it does take a a village to help some of the challenges that some of these individuals are going through. Hotel Cascada is one of our first major corporate sponsors and as you know they have this lazy river that flows right through the water park. Um, it's a really neat environment so if we can, and it's a, it's a controlled environment too, we know how deep it is, we know how clear the water is, and we know, you know how we can control the current. Our, our fundamental, one of our goals is to start in an adaptive environment. Uh, graduate to more of a community environment and ultimately towards independence in a community environment. So whether we're going down the Rio Grande, um, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll be with our community, but they'll be to the point where they know that they have the skills and we don't necessarily have to provide that one-on-one -on -one support. Um, it's the same with the ski programs. You know, they, they go out, they learn, they build their skills up, and then they're off on their own. Uh, Sean was with us out on, on the river. He's, he's a part of our paddling community pretty regularly. And, and um, he went to a restaurant and uh, the waitress had also taken my class. She had seen him at um, one of our paddling events and she said, hey, you're that kayaker. And his mom said really for the first time in his life, he'd been associated with something besides, you know, you're that person with autism or, or that disability. And, but he was, hey, you're a kayaker.